25 of the Get Ready Guide for the Bergen Academy's Invention Test. And um, today we're talking about comparing fractions. We, we learned that there are three different ways to compare fractions on the test, three different types of questions for comparing fractions. Um, let's go to number three right now. How can I compare fractions that have different denominators um, and different numerators as well? So the denominators are different and the numerators are different. Let's take an example right away. Let's say we have a number like this, 3 over 7 and 1 over 2. Here are the two fractions that we have. I want to compare between these two fractions and find which one is bigger. Now on the test, you can either have a question like this, where you have two fractions and you want to know which one is, is bigger, or you have five different fractions, for example, and you need to choose the closest one to a certain number, or the smallest one, or the biggest one, and so on. So let's take an example here. If I want to compare two uh, fractions like 3 over 7 and 1 over 2, one way to do this is to try to transform one of the fractions so that it will have a, a numerator or a denominator like the other. So for example, 1 over 2, 1 half, can be changed into 3 over 6. Therefore, I would be comparing 3 over 7, 3 over 6. And um, since they have the same numerator, it will be easy to compare, just like we did before in steps 1 and 2. However, I want to teach you another trick right here. How do we compare two different fractions that don't have the same numerator and don't have the same denominator? We cross multiply. So we take the cross products. We take the numerator from here times the denominator from here. 3 times 2 equals 6. And put that under the numerator you started with, so under the 3 over 7 fraction. So 3 times 2 equals 6, and I put it right here. Then, in yellow, I do the opposite for the other fraction. So I go 1, the numerator, times the denominator of the other one, which is 7, and I write that down here. Then I compare these two numbers, 7 and 6. Which is bigger, 7 or 6? Six? 7 is bigger. Therefore, the fraction 1 over 2, 1 half, is bigger than the fraction 3 over 7. Remember that the Bergen Academy's admission test is not an easy test. However, we need to learn the basics, the easy stuff, in order to be able to solve all the questions correctly. Some of the questions on the test are very, very simple, and some are very difficult. In all cases, you need to know the basics. You need to know divisibility rules. You need to know how to find factors, how to find lowest common multiples, greatest common factors, how to um, uh, use long division, how to add and subtract fractions, how to add and subtract decimals, and so on. So some of the content in the book is easy but basic, and some is difficult and geared towards a test. I wish you all the best of luck, and I would like to hear from you if you have any questions whatsoever regarding the Bergen Academy's admission test. Thank you.